Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video we will be learning how to deploy Judge Zero compiler engine to EC2 instance on AWS. So if you're looking for a quick to go, you know, quick to go compiler engine, then you can make use of this. But if your requirement is to, you know, supply your compiler for millions of users, uh, I actually created a video long back on this particular topic you can find the video in the i button you can create your own compiler engine and then host it on lambda function and make it you know just scalable to a million or whatever a lot of uses so uh without wasting any time i'm gonna directly show you how this uh looks like and then i'll show you you know essentially how uh we can yeah so this is how once if you see the instance ip is 13.12 don't try to access this i will uh <laughs> i will definitely you know close this but yeah nonetheless uh this is how it looks like and uh yeah so let's let's move forward and then just let's do it so i'm gonna go to of course you need to first things first you definitely need a Compile uh, AWS account, which I assume you already have, and you need to go to EC2 instances. Also, uh, a quick thing before we move forward: uh, if you want to know how to deploy Judge C compiler in a scalable manner, then comment down below, like this video, subscribe, and then comment down below if you need. If I have enough audience, then I will create a video on this. Uh, anyways, moving forward. Uh, let's just go ahead and quickly launch this so uh, yeah let's click on launch instance and then uh, yeah just use AWS Linux you can even make use of Ubuntu but I'm gonna make use of like Linux I'm gonna write just zero C compiler or whatever okay uh, make use of T2 medium T2 medium is enough to run for like I, I think hundreds hundred of users to be honest i i haven't tried till 100 but i think it will be enough to run a hundred users not parallelly but yeah parallelly i think it will be like if they if a single user you need to add rate limit and everything you have to be i have to set the sub uh configuration very well in order to um make your thing scalable uh, anyways, let's move forward. That's not the topic of this video. I'm just going to show you uh, proceed without a key pair Create or definitely create a key pair when you are uh, Actually, you know making use of it um, In real uh, scenario, all right allow SSH traffic and allow HTTP traffic from the internet uh, Also change the storage to 40 GB. Okay, because uh, judge C is like around 8 GB. I think but just make it 40 GB or 20 GB just to be sure. Uh, you can change this later on. Um, advanced detail, I don't think you'll have to touch this for now. Just click on launch and sense. Uh, it's gonna take a while to do this. Uh, yeah, so also what we'll do is that we will uh, go to the judge zero, uh, you know, page. And uh, I think this is the official page. Just click on pricing, click on self-hosted and click on install so this will take you to the documentation of it uh, let me close the other ones oh uh, yeah i think this is the page that i'm looking for yeah so here they are if you see just download and extract the release change this is how it tells you to install it's very pretty straightforward there are some things there are some nuances that you need to uh, set before you actually do this uh but yeah uh, let's just move forward and uh I think the instance is already launched if I'm not wrong. Okay, I think this is the one that we just created. The other one is the one that I just demoed before uh, I did this. Um, yeah, so just click on connect. Uh, you can SSH into it or uh, I'm just going to use AWS's uh, account. Uh, serial console. So instance connect. Just click on connect. Uh, sometimes it will fail but I think if the instance is ready then there you go so if you see right now docker is not installed over here so in order to install docker we'll write 
sudo yum install docker in linux i think yum should work but yeah i think docker will be installed after this yeah it's gonna take a while but yeah i think it will be fairly quick compared to how there you go yep completed let's try docker it works and now after that we also need to install docker compose now according to the documentation this is how uh, i'm just gonna copy paste the uh, thing from uh yeah so it's gonna be this yeah all right just gonna write docker compose version oops uh did i just yeah there you go docker compose is also installed um also now just let's directly go to the uh documentation click copy this will just you know um get the in the um, repository set up locally and then uh i hope you can see my screen yeah there you go i'm sorry this is a new setup i'm actually i'm changing stuff in my room so yeah so yeah i think this is installed and if i i just need to do cd judge zero c uh so and then if i do ls they should be docker compose yaml and judge zero uh and yeah this thing i'm just gonna increase the size of it a little bit so that you guys can see properly i don't know if, yeah i'm not sure if this is visible or not but yeah so few things that we need to change on uh judge zero conf configuration file so if you scroll down over here i'm gonna use make make use of nano editor uh you know there will be some stuff related to workers we just need to make sure that uh we need to add a password i'm just gonna add the password as redis and if you see it says no default must be set or whatever and also it says the same for judge zero uh user password so i'm gonna write the password as judge post gray <laughs> okay pass one two three okay so here i'm gonna exit save modified press enter and then yeah uh, i think uh, we are sorted let's 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 start the server it's gonna take a while but yeah okay it's already there we are already inside that and uh Okay, now I think we'll need sudo commands over here. Okay. Okay, I think we'll need to start the uh, Docker server. Get system CTL start Docker. sudo system CTL start Docker. Yeah, I think this should work. Yeah, now all I would need is to just, you know, set some stuff up. Sudo. Sudo. That's it. Okay, it's gonna take a while. It will take around five minutes to we'll just install everything. It will, it will install uh, PostgreSQL. It will install Redis uh all the stuff that's needed for it to work and so if you see everything is done you write docker ps command sudo docker ps command yeah it will show me all the containers that are running right now and uh let me write curl http localhost two three five eight okay it should be working that means and we can check sudo docker logs i can check the logs for one of the container yeah i think it's working and 
sudo ps let's check for postgres server and uh, sudo docker logs yeah but yeah i, th I think this is good uh, postgres create process complete ready to start up so let's let's uh, you know go back to the instance and then you know this is where we actually did that right and uh let's reload a little bit yeah i hope you guys can see the screen uh, if you scroll down and if you go to security if you see the inbound rules are like 80 to 22 just click on security groups go to inbound because the step is important because if you see the judge zero configuration file or uh, the docker compose yaml file the container runs on 2358 uh, port for that you will have to attach a 2358 value over here on the instance and just make it 000 uh, since the container listens on 2358 uh, port save rules and then go back to the container uh sorry go back to the ip instance i'm sorry just messing up things just click on this and then uh, increase the size of it a little bit and if you see we have a ip address running over here and then hopefully this should work and two three five eight there you go and when i do languages it should give me all the languages that i have i hope you guys can see the screen but yeah it supports a lot of stuff nonetheless uh everything is working over here and uh yeah i think our deployment is done you can find the uh, values over here or you can find all the documentation on how to authorize how to add a create a submission or whatever uh, here you'll have all the information of it all right so i think that's it for the video and uh, yeah uh, if you like the video please click the subscribe button and if you want a tutorial on how to deploy it on elastic container service so that it is scalable add an auto scaling group to add more workers and or, or whatever just comment down below if i have enough audience then i'll create a new video so thank you so much thank you so much for watching the video to the end and uh, i hope to see you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care